welcome to Kids in the Kitchen live competition. So this competition is sponsored by Pampered Chef. And first thing we'd like to start out with is just introduce you to our judges. Judge on my left, our fair board chairperson, Diane Giddens. Diane? How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing lovely and I'm looking forward to tasting all these sweet treats. Awesome. Hope you came with an appetite. <laughs> our next judge is Jill Williams. Jill is with Pampered Chef and our sponsor. Jill, tell us a few things about Pampered Chef. Hello. Um, we're happy to be here. This is my 12th year doing this. Um, if you have any questions about Pampered Chef, just see me afterwards. And I've got catalogs at the end of the table over there if you want to take one of those. We've been around since 1980, I believe, was the first year. And do a lot of stuff online. Used to do the parties at homes. They still do that a little bit, not as much anymore, but um, we have some awesome kitchen products. If you're interested, just see me afterwards. <laughs> thank you, and thank you for sponsoring this. Our next judge is Meb, Meb to Jack. She is the manager at Scouts Pub, one of our restaurants. Meb, tell us a little about yourself. Hey everybody, I originally hail from Louisiana in a Nashville Franklin implant for about six years now. And this is my first time judging the event, but I'm very hungry, so I'm very excited to be here. Thanks for asking me. Awesome. Thanks for making our judges feel welcome. We appreciate them. And here we go with our first entry. Our first entry is from Bear Goss. Bear, you here? Where you at, Bear? Hey, buddy, how you doing? I'm gonna come talk to you. Come here, buddy, let's face the audience here and let's talk. So, Bear, this isn't your first time to enter, is it? No, this is my second time doing it. All right, how'd you do last year? I, I don't remember. I remember you did very, very well. I'm very proud of you coming back again this year. So this year, I see on here, we've got Bear's Cream Brulee Nutella Cheesecake. Yes, sir. Is that a, a family recipe or is that a Bear recipe? I just, um, it's a Bear recipe. That's awesome. I love it. And I'm looking here at the ingredients. This is not an easy make. Uh, you have to go through several steps here to make this happen. So when did you make this? Did you make this this morning or yesterday? I made this yesterday. I would think you'd have to with all this ingredients and these steps that you have to go through. So well done, Bear, on your entry, and I wish you luck. Thank you. All right, you ready for school to start back? Yes, sir. All right, when is that, next week? Two weeks. Two weeks. All right. Well, enjoy the next two weeks. And we're going to get some feedback from the judges here in a minute. But thank you for entering. Let's give Bear an applause. Judges, I'm going to give you his recipe in case you have any questions. And if you have any questions for Bear, we can also ask. This is a beautiful entry. I can see that. <laughs> Ryan and Jamie, how are y'all doing? And a future chef. <laughs> All right, judges are tasting. They're putting down their scores now. The judges are looking at several criteria. Obviously, presentation matters. Taste matters probably the most, I would think. <laughs> and just how cute the kids are matters too. All right. So the first one's always the toughest one. 
but you basically the first one also gets to start with the perfect score because nobody else has scored yet so it's a perfect score until the next one so we're going to start right here with meb meb tell me what you think i think that the technique that goes into making a cheesecake is hard for an adult and for a nine-year-old this was pretty spectacular i think you did an amazing job at creating a great texture of this cheesecake. The brulee on top was really nice and crispy and crunchy, which is also difficult because sometimes sugar will melt if it's not done properly. I didn't see a lot of burn marks or over torching. Your crust was really nice and tender. And I think for a beginning baker, nice job. You got a lot of room to grow there, friend. Nice, well done. Great comments. Jill, how about you? What did you think? I think you did excellently. I agree with everything that she said. And I'm looking at that, like the difficulty of a cheesecake and then a brulee cheesecake on top of that. I don't know as I would attempt that. <laughs> and I thought this was wonderful. I loved the hazelnuts through it. Um, I just thought it was very well done. Thank you. Bear, I'm not a hazelnut person, but you made me love hazelnuts. Cheesecake has always been one of my favorite, and you did an outstanding job. Thank you. Great comments, Bear. Thanks for the entry. And you had me at Nutella. So anything Nutella, I think, is in the running for winning. All right. I, I will. She said, Judge said I should try it. I said, I will. I will. <laughs> All right. Here comes our next entrance. Okay. Our next entry is from Henry Harvey. Henry, where you at? Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Good. Let's face the audience this way, and I'm going to ask you a couple questions. So, the name of your dessert is Three Layer Death by Chocolate. All right. Is this a family recipe or is this um, your recipe? Um, I got it from a cookbook, but I have used it many times for, like, my family's birthday parties and stuff. You know, that's very smart not to show up to a contest with something that you did for the very first time. So I like that, that you've tried this several times. It's a proven recipe. And you've served it to your family, so that's a, that's a great start. So uh, other activities outside of baking, what do you like to do? Well, I do jiu-jitsu, I did robotics, um, and I like drumming, and of course I like playing video games a lot. Awesome. So jiu-jitsu, you've been watching any of the Olympics? It, it's pretty intense. Yes, it is. I've watched a little bit of it. I haven't, like, sit down and just stared at it for, like, hours, but I have seen bits and pieces of it. Yeah. So what I love about jiu-jitsu, it's all about self-defense. It teaches you how to defend yourself, and it's always about the peaceful hand, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Very cool. So school's fixing to start. You excited? No. No? You don't want summer to come to the end? Yep. <laughs> I'm kind of the same way. I enjoy the summer times. I enjoy the freedom of being able to do a lot of things. But listen... School is coming, let me tell you, whether you want it to or not. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, congratulations on your entry, and we'll get the judges' comments here in just a minute. Thank you, sir. Did you enter last year? This is your first year to enter. Great. So what motivated you to enter? Well, um, my mom told me about it, and... Um, I actually did interview for the Kids Baking Championship, which is a TV show, and I didn't make it, but I wanted to try this. I love that. It takes a lot of courage to try to go for something like that. Even though you didn't get it this time, doesn't mean you won't get it the next time. So good for you for entering, and I appreciate you entering here. It looks like the judges may be ready for some comments. Let's get some comments from them. All right, Diane, we're going to start with you this time. Okay, 
So you are Henry, and I agree with Andy that I appreciate you coming back and trying again. So don't ever give up. You keep following your dreams. Your um, three-layer cake is something I never attempt. I can only do two layers, and I'll do good if I get those as good as what your death by chocolate is. So thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Um, three-layer cake. That's awesome. Um, I liked the icing on the outside and I like that it wasn't overly sweet like it wasn't too sweet for me to eat okay your layers were great they were all uniform you had the same amount of icing in between each layer which is very difficult to do for a Nova so good job um, your flavors were on point right on I love the fact you kind of went super southern and put mayonnaise in your ingredients because that doesn't happen a lot anymore in this day and age so good job taking a, a chance on things and it turned out really really well nice job keep baking don't stop oh here you go <laughs> thank you great comments congratulations all right we'll get the results at the end for you well done and, and Meb, my, my grandmother always used mayonnaise when she made her icings too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, a mayonnaise cake, absolutely. And it, for her, it always, she was from Mississippi and it had to be Duke's. Duke's mayonnaise. She, she had to cook with Duke's mayonnaise. Here comes our next entry. All right, our next entry is Bradley's Lemon Cupcakes. Bradley Johnston, how are you? I'm good. So, um, Bradley, tell me a little bit about this recipe. Is this something that you cook often, or is this the first time you've done it? It's like the third time I've made it. Good, so you had some practice with it. How have your results been? You really like this recipe? Uh, Yeah. Okay, so is this a recipe you found, or is this a family recipe? Um, I found it. Where'd you find it? On Google. That's a great place to do it. You know, I, I used to read cookbooks, and I don't think I read cookbooks anymore. I always Google everything. But those all came out of a recipe book when we Google. But that's a great way to find things and to try to find something that you want to try. So I'm looking at your ingredients here. You had to take several steps to make a cupcake. This is not your average cupcake. There's a lot of ingredients here, and your procedures are really precise. I like that. Did you enjoy making it? Uh, yeah. Is this your first time to enter? Yeah, my sister entered also five or four years ago, and she did pretty good. So. Yeah, well, let's see if we can beat her this time. What do you think about that? Uh, yeah, I'll try. <laughs> it's, uh, it's always good to beat your older siblings. Yeah. I like that. I like a competitive nature. Now, are you ready for school to start back? Kind of. Yeah, yeah it's a great way to see all your friends again, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So outside of baking, what other uh, hobbies or interests do you have? I do gymnastics, and I play with my friends a lot. Yeah. You like gymnastics? Yeah. I do, too. I've loved watching it on the Olympics this year. It's been really exciting. But I love it how somebody your age can start this and keep working at it and work at it, and you just get better and better every year. Yeah. yeah. It takes a lot of practice. It's not easy. But it's very athletic, and that's what I love about gymnastics. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you for your entry. We'll let the judges try your um, your lemon cupcake here, and we'll get you some feedback in just a minute. Thank you. All right. So y'all have heard from some of our contestants. I'm going to walk around here just a little bit and ask you about the fair, what you're enjoying. Are you having fun? Guys, I'm coming right to you. Don't be shy. Are you having fun this year at the fair? Yes. What have you enjoyed so far? Um, we went to see a bunch of attractions and a circus down over there. Awesome. Hey, I like that hat. Gary Sinise. He's an awesome guy. He's doing awesome things. And he lives in our community now. Thank you all for supporting the fair. Good to see you. 
Hi, ladies. How are y'all doing? You're looking on your phone, but I'm going to interrupt you. How are you doing? Good. Are you enjoying the fair? Yes. What have you enjoyed so far? The rides. Yeah, lots of rides. How about you? Are you enjoying the rides? Yes. Awesome. Well, you're awfully cute. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank y'all for coming and supporting the fair. We appreciate you. Hi, ladies. How are y'all? Good. You ready for school? Yeah. You excited? Maybe. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like uh, I'm excited to see my friends again, but also sad to see summer come to an end, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's great to see y'all. Are you having fun at the fair? Yes. Oh, great. It's good to see y'all. Thank you for coming to the fair. We appreciate you. All right, judges, how we doing? <laughs> yeah, Somebody, somebody's puckering on the lemon. I love that. All right, Jill, we're going to start with you for comments this time. Bradley, um, great job on the citrus cupcakes. I can smell the citrus. Like when it, he, they first brought it up, I could smell the citrus. Love that you put the zest throughout everything and the touch with the candied lemon peel was excellent. Good job. So um, I think that a lot of times lemon desserts kind of fall short because you really can't taste it, but you just nailed it throughout the whole thing. You know that this is lemon from the start to the finish. Candied lemon peels or any type of citrus peel are not super easy to do. They're pretty difficult. There's a time process in it. You killed it. Like it was a great, great lemon peel twist. Um, the cake was nice and tender. Your buttercream was nice and smooth throughout the whole thing. Nice job. Thank you. It is delicious. It is very lemony and refreshing. It's it's just as soon as it hits your as she said first you smell it and then you taste the lemon, and I agree with the candied uh, lemon zest on top. I've not ever had that before, and I think I could just eat those by themselves. They were so good. So thank you. Great comments, Bradley. Congratulations. Okay. Uh, Final entry is coming up now. They're getting ready, but I got a future contestant that wanted to talk to me. So she's waving to me back here. Hi, what's your name? Alina. Alina, how are you doing? Are you going to be a baker when you grow up? I don't know. Oh, no. Well, if you do, I can get you up on stage here. And you can compete with these other kids. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay. Are you having fun at the fair? Yes. What's your favorite so far? Um, the rides. The rides. I think that's all our favorites. Thank y'all for coming. Thanks for supporting the fair. Okay. Here's our last entry, Sadie Anderson. Sadie, come on up. Ha <laughs> We've already talked. How are you doing? Good. Good. Okay, so tell me about your dessert here. We've got Sadie's End of the Summer Organic Glazed Lemon Cookies. Is this a recipe you've done before, or is this your first time? Um, this is my second time doing it. Good. So you've tried it, and you must have enjoyed it if you put it in a competition. Yes, I did. Yeah, they liked it. The family liked it, too. I bet. Okay, so where'd you find your recipe? Um, it's a family recipe. I love that, a family recipe. I love the heritage of that and uh, passing recipes down. I still have recipes that I got from my grandmother. And I've made a pretty good living out of cooking out of recipes. So tell me a little bit about this, uh, this process you went through. I see your ingredients here, and this is um, uh, several steps to this that you've got to do. What was the hardest part of your making your cookie? Um, probably just making the plain cookie. 
Yeah, making the cookie. And I like that you went organic. I mean, you got organic flour, organic butter, organic sugar, organic lemon juice. I mean, you went all out to make this organic. What's your passion behind organics? Um, my mom, she's just, we've always ate organic. I love that. I love that. So you're inspired by your mom to cook organic, and it looks like uh, she's doing a great job of teaching you. So we talked a little bit about school. Tell me about other activities outside of bacon. What else do you like to do? I ride horses. I jump the horses. And I have goats and horses, dogs, a donkey, and a cat. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little menagerie started. I love it. Yeah, so jumping horses, how long have you been doing that? Um, since I was like... I don't know. <laughs> I've been doing it for a while. For a while. So you're like, like 17, 18 years old now? No. No? Well, then you haven't been doing it real long then. How old are you? I'm nine and a half. Nine and a half. Well, I love that, that you have hobbies like that. And I love horses, too. I love being around them. I love the way they make me feel when I'm riding on them. It's a, it's a special relationship with a horse, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. Okay, so we'll get some comments from the judges here in a minute, and then we'll start working on the results. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, who's here at the fair for the very first time? Anybody here their very first time coming to Williamson County Fair? Oh, there's a baby in a <laughs> baby in a stroller over here raising its hand first time. I love it. Great, so repeat. So y'all must really enjoy the fair. We appreciate that. I tell you, the volunteers it takes to run this fair is many. And pretty much it's all volunteer run except for just a couple of employees that pull us all together to make it happen. So thank y'all for coming to the fair. Hey, what's your name? Sarah. Oh, are you representing her? Are you Sarah's representative? Okay, I might. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sarah, what do you like to do outside of going to school? Um, I like to play. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite game? Um, playing in the swings. The swings? Yeah, it makes you feel free, doesn't it, swinging? Yeah. I love that. I love that. It's nice to meet you. And you have a good time at the fair. All right. So your representative here wants me to ask you how old you are. Seven. Seven years old. Awesome. Well, y'all have fun. <laughs> okay, judges, are we ready for comments? Where do we start this time? Wherever you want. I'm staring at you, Beb. <laughs> and the two men. Okay. Um, Sadie. So your cookie was very tender and it was not crumbly, like it held together really nicely. I really enjoyed the lemon flavor all the way through and the glaze was a nice lemon flavor, but the sugared blueberry on top, I think kind of complimented it and it also cut that lemon flavor and it was a really nice balance. Good job. I, I agree with everything she said. I saw the blueberry and I ate I, like I ate the blueberry and then I ate the cookie, which reminded me of like a muffin top cookie um, or like a little muffin top cake or something. And then took a bite and the lemon came through and I was like, oh, pleasant surprise. So I really like that. First of all, organic is cool. So I'm excited that, that you uh, took a step in that direction. I ate the blueberry with a piece of the, of the cookie right out of the middle and it, and it really blended well together. So I really enjoyed that. And um, the, the center of it was, um, I thought you had put a filling in it. It was very um, smooth and creamy in the middle. So you did a great job. Thank you. All right, judges, the easy part's over. 
The eating is the easy part. Now you've got a tally and you've got to decide amongst yourself a first, second, and third place. All right, so while the judges are doing that, let's hear from some of the parents. We're gonna to talk to some of the parents that are here. Some, some are cleaning up and getting things done. I'm coming to you, Dad. So, you, you brought the family to the fair today. How's that going for you? Y'all having a good time? Oh, we're having a blast. We always do. This is one of our favorite times of the year. That's great. So you've been here multiple times? Oh, yeah. We've lived in Franklin about nine years, and I'd say we've probably come at least seven of those nine years. That's great. Well, we appreciate you coming. We appreciate you bringing the family and y'all enjoying yourselves together as a family. That's a cool thing. Good job. All right, ma'am, I'm going to talk to you. Oh, hi. Hello. What's your name? Jenny. Jenny. Or where are you from? <laughs> Franklin. You live here in Franklin? I don't anymore. You don't anymore? Well, you came back to the fair. Are you all having a good time? We are. We're having a great time. About to go ride some rides. Great. Y'all ready? Yeah. You've been patient enough. Now it's time to go ride rides. All right. They're not too tired to ride rides. I love that. Y'all go have fun. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye. <laughs> Sir, how are you doing? How are you doing? He's tired. <laughs> Wiped out. It is. It's a lot of energy to, to come to the fair and have all this fun. Yeah, with the heat and everything. Yeah. Are y'all having a good time? Having a real good time. First right. First time to come. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we appreciate y'all coming. It's a lot of effort that goes into putting on a fair, so we, we thank you. We appreciate that you enjoy it. Thank y'all so much. All right, judges, how we doing? They're deliberating. So contestants, you know what that means when it takes this long for judges to decide? That means it's really, really close. That there were so many good entries that it's hard to decide on just three of them when there's four great entries. So they got the tough part. <laughs> My wife's looking at me like, don't bring that microphone over to me. <laughs> what are you laughing at? What's your name? Malia. Malia, y'all having fun? Yeah, we're having a great time. Good. Is this your first time to be at the fair? Um, so my older daughter was in the cooking competition about five years ago, and then Bradley is my younger daughter. Awesome. So you're the one she wants to be. Awesome. Yeah, but she won, so. Oh, she won. Well, that's her story anyway. <laughs> yeah, I was a great football player back then, too. That's awesome. But well, we appreciate you coming out. We appreciate the spirit of family. Y'all are great. Awesome. All right. Do we have decisions made? We do. Yeah. I figured it was going to be a hard decision. All right. So we're going to start with third place. And I'm telling you, I'm looking at the scores, and this was a close, close competition. Gosh, so close they had to choose between third and fourth place because they had the same scores, and that's not easy to do. Okay, so we were going to go in reverse order, but I need to go first, second, and third. Oh, you've got it figured out? Okay. So we're going to call out from third to first. And then after I call out from third to first, first will come up and choose their prize up here. Second will come up and then choose. Third will choose. All right. So in third place, 
Sadie Anderson. Congratulations, Sandy. Come on up here. We got a ribbon for you. Yes. Stay right here with me, okay? Second place, Bradley Johnston. Congratulations. Second place. Stay, stay up here with me, okay? First place with a score of 85 out of 100. Wow. Bear Goss. Bear, come on up. <laughs> Congratulations, Bear. Well done, Bear. We got some material here for you. And guess, guess what, Bear? cookbooks for you. Now, Jill, I'm going to let you explain what you have here, and Bear, you get to pick first, and then we'll go down the line. All right. I thought in case y'all have some of this already, I thought this year I would let you pick. So, Bear, you get to pick first. This is a brownie pan. You can do other things in it, but they just call it the brownie pan. This is the kids' cookie baking set. So, it's a mixing bowl, some cookie cutters, and a spatula in there. Yeah, emoji cookie cutters. And then this is an ice cream cake pan. So if you like making ice cream cakes, that is your tool there. This is a whipped cream maker. If you'd like to make your own whipped cream, I do that every weekend with my waffles. And then this one is a mini muffin pan. If you'd like that, you get to pick one of those. You like yeah. the whipped cream? Awesome. That's a great choice. Nice job. <laughs> You're Bradley. welcome. And then Bradley? Sure. You're welcome. And then stay here. And then there you go. All right. All right. And also for Henry, where's Henry? Henry, you still here? Come on, Henry. We're going to let you pick out something also. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you all. All right. Emily, where's Emily? Oh, here she is. Judges, I'm going to kneel down here and we'll get us all in one picture. Awesome. Proud of all of y'all. Great job. Well, folks, there's a future of America right there. Baking away and making people happy with Cook. So, congratulations, judges. Thank you all again for being here. Jill, thank you for sponsoring once again. We appreciate you. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you all.